Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Creating Process. Today we'll be designing an isometric graphic design using spherical shape. We got a sphere with wooden texture. We'll use this sphere as our main element and create a few more versions of this shape and then arrange them in a perspective order. We'll use the illustrator tool to create out this 3D sphere with texture and then we'll jump to Photoshop create out the whole design. So let's begin the tutorial. Uh, we are in Illustrator. Let's create our circle. We'll use the ellipse tool and create our circle. So with the shift and R press, just click and drag and create a circle. Now we'll cut this into half. So we'll use the scissor tool and one cut around that point and other at this point. And after that, delete out this half portion and we are left with this half. Now let's create a sphere. So to create this, we'll go to select this, go to effect 3D revolve. And this way you can create a sphere. So we got a sphere, nice sphere, click OK. So next step is to add texture and to add a texture we have to have a texture in our symbol palette here so we are we don't have any texture let's bring in some texture so i got a texture here wooden texture with me so i'll just click and drag in there so I'll click drag drop so here's the texture let's scale it down select this and just scale it down so here's the texture uh Let's uh, convert this into symbol and to convert it in symbol we have to before before that we have to embed this image embed that click this and after that you can just directly click and drag and drop to the symbol. So now select this click drag drop to the symbol and give your name WWD wood and click OK. So your symbol is created you can now select this and delete it out and after that select this piece and let's apply the texture so go to windows appearance and under appearance click the 3d revolve option and you got this palette here preview it you got to see that sphere now let's add some map art so under map art just select this word texture so here's the texture let's uh, scale this up just uh, click on the scale to fit and it will automatically fit to the dimension so you can see uh, it's done and after that let's click OK and now let's play around with the rotation and our sphere is ready next is uh, we have to duplicate this twice so I'll just with the all press just click and drag and duplicate it one more time and before that let's create the outlines so I have to create a outline for our main design with the ellipse tool we'll create our one more circle here so from the center just click and drag and create our circle let's uh, give it some stroke color and after that we'll create a shape inside this outline shape so we'll use the line segment tool for this and from the center just click and drag and create one around here We need to uh, give some bulging effect here, so I'll use uh, zoom it in and just work it out there. So let's place this around here, and let's make this a little bit more outside like that. In the same way, select this, select this point, and let's bring it here, and let's do the same stuff here. So. Selecting this handle, make sure to push it out like that. Okay, giving that nice uh, bulging effect here. Okay, so let's see. Okay, it's looking great. Now, once you have done this, uh, uh, let's duplicate this. So, I'm just uh, selecting everything with the all press, just click and drag and duplicate it. So, we got two shapes here. Next step is to uh, use the shape builder tool and extract out this unique shapes. So first of all, I select this and this and lock it, command 2 or control 2. Then after that, select everything and with the shape builder tool selected, select a color, maybe, maybe blue and remove the fill, uh, stroke color for a while. And now let's give this effect. So this is one object. This is one object, this is one object. For this, I will give this one object and this one one object. And after that, let's uh, delete out all the rest. So select the, all these unwanted curves here. 
In the same way, select these pieces and select and delete it all. So we got these shapes. So let's apply a gradient color. So I'll choose a gradient color from here. Let's say so gradient color, remove the fill color. Under gradient color, uh, double click on the gradient tool. And this one, let's choose the blue color. So here's the blue color. And for the other one, let's choose the dark blue color. And in that, we'll just make sure it's a little more darker like that. And after that, let's place it, click and drag and make sure it's inside this. So the darker portion will be inward. In the same way, select this, this, this and this. And with the eye picker and the alternate shift press, just select this color. Now let's do the adjustments. So uh, we have created these two uh, yeah, shapes for our design. Now let's uh, unlock the background design, Control Alt 2 or Command Alt 2. And this one, uh, what I'll do is I'll just duplicate this and this expand this. So go to Object, Expand Appearance, and this way it will be converted to Expand. And um, after that, ungroup it once. You can ungroup a few more time, what second time, and let's see. So if we check it out. We got two layers here. So this one, we delete this out. We'll be using this front one only. And now let's uh, open our Photoshop blank file. And here let's click and drag and drop there. So I just select this. So here is our image. Just scale it up. So here's our image. And let's do some stuff here. So let's give some details and duplicate this using the layer and this one I'll apply some multiply multiply option and you got this nice dark effect double click on this and let's apply some corner shadow so uh, like inner shadow here and selecting that reduce the distance and increase the size and you can see that effect the shadows are coming from the corners and you can give some similar color there so I choose dark brown color there and click ok you can even reduce the opacity a little bit so if you want to reduce the opacity just reduce it and click ok now i'll just duplicate this one more time and this time uh we'll be using this to create some uh, shadow effect so i'll just duplicate this and multiply it again and hide this in a shadow or maybe you can just keep it there and if you check it out, it's giving a light, very dark tone there. So you can just reduce the opacity a little bit. And let's apply some mask there. And let's delete our few portions. So with a brush tool selected, uh, let's apply there and reduce the, give some darker tone. So we are just using the brush tool and, and with the eraser tool, you can just fill it up here little bit like that or with a brush tool if you want to remove it just remove it like that with a full opacity I'll just delete a few stuff and with a lower opacity delete a few stuff so if you check it out we have applied these uh, shadows now we can uh, we have to create a few more duplicates but before that uh, let's group this up Control G and let's give it name sphere 1 one enter and here this is our one sphere and before that let's uh, create a reference line enter so now uh, let's uh, go to our illustrator and let's bring this our designs this shape and I'll just select these three pieces just click and drag and drop it to Photoshop. Here's the design. I'll just zoom it in and let's scale this up. So here's our main corner there. Let's scale this up according to our size and place it there properly. With the arrow keys, you can do the adjustments. Let's scale this up a little bit more and like that and enter. So we got the perfect size there and okay fine now let's duplicate this fair one more time mm -hmm. 
so placing it uh, accordingly like that now uh, let's see okay 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 that's fine now let's uh, bring in that other shape so I'll just select these two pieces and just click drag and drop it there and for the shop and here it is I'll just uh, place it here and let's scale this up so according to the side let's zoom it in and let's work out with the design so make sure it's placed properly give it a little bit right side okay so here's the size and we got that now let's zoom out and let's see so select this I'll just place this below here select this everything and let's move this a little bit here so now we'll add some shadows to each sphere to bring up some depth to the design so I'll select this one and this one and if you check it out uh, there should be some shadow below that so uh, selecting this I'll add a new layer change that to multiply and after that bring open this layer and with the control or command just click on this and you got that selected and after that with the brush tool let's add some shadows so I have I'm applying black color which is multiply so here you can see we are adding some shadows to this and here let's add some dark there So we have given this uh, you can do some more adjustments so with the shadows play around with that and you get more depth but for now let's uh, do the add the adjustments layer so top layer selected I'll just uh, add some brightness and contrast and let's give it around let's say 17 maybe okay that's great and brightness around 9 see okay Next, uh, I'll add some hue and saturation. So let's decrease it to around, let's say, 30. Okay, and I'll add a curve layer. And here I'll just increase the contrast a little bit, like that, and like that. Okay. Okay, that's nice. Uh, hue and saturation value, you can just see where you got a nice effect there like that now let's add our text So for the final step, we'll do some stuff here. So if you see through the sphere, we can see this shape is unwanted. We have to hide this out. So we'll use the mask option to hide this shape. So here on the layer, we'll select this group. This one, if we check it out. Okay, not this one. If we see, yeah, this is the group. So I'll select this group and apply a mask over there. And under the mask, will uh, use the brush tool and just paint on this and it will be masked out so we'll use the brush tool here is a brush and take a small brush this one and small diameter one and after that just apply it let's zoom it in and if you check it out see you can see it's automatically masked out and in that way you got a nice finishing here so let's mask that out like this from here also like that so zoom it out and you got that nice finishing here like it's uh, it's uh, like converged over there this is the shape this is the finish line and here it is so here's the final output so finally we have completed this isometric design i hope you enjoyed the tutorial don't forget to check out the next tutorial coming up and if you're more business design don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel uh, thank you